Hey miners, Rusty coming at you. Today is my first Spyderco, Spyderco Manix 2. And I got a little story about this one, but we'll just kind of enjoy it for now here in the sunlight. Uh, the reason I picked this knife up is I hear such good things about Spydercos. Wanted to try them. And the Manix 2 seems to be everybody's favorite. And this one is a new steel, which we'll talk about. It's Spy 27. And uh, we'll talk about that more. Golden Colorado. Got an interesting lock. Calling it a uh, ball bearing lock. So very similar to the Axis lock without stealing their, you know, infringing upon them. So we'll talk about why this is here. It's in a, oh, was it fiber reinforced copolymer? So it's very much like an FRN uh, handle. And this one is cobalt blue. I think it's aquamarine and that's my grape. So we'll take this inside and take a closer look at this one. Okay, and we're inside. And I said earlier in this video that the Manix 2 was everybody's favorite. That's not exactly true. But if you watch some of the top five, a lot of the channels do top five spider coasts, I think it's almost in everybody's top five. I think that uh, Bradley is is also one of someone's favorite. Said so I had a story about this one, and that is when I ordered this knife, I kind of I wanted to get it because of this new steel, the Spy 27 steel. We'll talk more about that later. But I kept seeing this what they call, I think they call mineral blue, and this one was advertised as cobalt blue, and it actually looked. A little bit more like this blue in the picture and so you can imagine when I got this uh, I was rather upset but this color is growing on me a uh, little bit about the knife very very stiff when you first get it you have to do a lot of work to uh, break it in it's running on washers and this ball bearing lock so it's like an axis lock and what you have here on these grips which by the way are angled and they're very nice grips uh, and you pull this back uh, they're what they're doing is they hold a ball ceramic ball I'm not sure what kind of ball it is inside so my hands would be the grips and then you'd have this ball in here so when you it's uh, rolling on the tang and then the ball gets pushed in and I said also I'd give the reason for this this is to you know block the ball this this shape of this comes down and holds the ball get a very very firm lock up on this uh, now I'm taking a look right here and wondering why you know we have that little separation there this is a hundred and fifty four dollar knife and we don't get that on even on Rough Riders so a little bit disappointed in that but <clears throat> one other thing I have trouble doing is spidey flicking maybe that was because uh, the bearings or the washers were so so sticky but I was trying to practice in I'm walking down a hallway I shot this knife like 10 feet across the room uh, with a blade about three quarters open it landed it came all the way open I don't think I, I dinged anything up. We'll find out. So, here we go. Along those lines. Well, I'll be darned. It says here, 70% of all accidents happen in the hole. And sure enough, I think his wife is getting eaten by a, a snake there. So, this goes to show you. That was an accident. I shot this sucker across the room. Okay, so I'm picky about, you know, if you're going to pay $154 and you're just getting this coal polymer like an FRN and then this steel, I mean, you better really be getting something. So I guess what will justify that is 
really good ergonomics. I mean, it it's very comfortable, and you can move up like so. Got a generous finger choil. At first, I didn't like lack of the sharpening choil, but I guess that plunge grind, you can, you know, just get up against that. Let's do a foam peanut slice test. Okay. All right, here we go. Ooh, talking about accidents. Gotta watch your finger. Okay, so roughly sh satisfied with this sharpness, Sp Spider Co. Uh, just tell you guys, I read on the forums, you can send this in, get free sharpening, you gotta pay $5 to have it shipped back. Let's talk now about Spy 27. Spy 27, I think Spider Crow appro approached Crucible uh, CPM and uh, asked them to make a steel, from what I understand, that uh, a super steel that sharpens like 440. 440 is an easy steel to sharpen. And what they did is they pretty much had a recipe from the S30 and they reduce the vanadium and increased the niobium. And uh, if you guys know anything about the knife process, vanadium is supposed to form very hard carbides, but it competes with chromium when doing that. And when you reduce the vanadium and increase the niobium, which also forms very hard carbides, and that's what gets you your edge retention, uh, the Niobium doesn't compete with the chromium as much as the vanadium does, if that all makes sense. So, you have a high chrome for the stainless steel, and this has very good stainless steel, a high corrosion resistance. And then you take and reduce the vanadium, and when you increase the niobium, you're kind of putting in niobium carbides as well. And from my understanding, they also form a finer carbide, which means uh, it can get sharper. You know, just that fine tip kind of stuff. I've seen this. People say it sharpens up really well. Now, interestingly enough, you go to some real-world testing. And Outdoors 76, he cuts cardboard. He gets somewhere in 130, 140 range with this. And then with SendCut 9CR... He's getting 120 feet of cardboard. So $40, 154, 10, maybe 20 more feet of cardboard. Uh, you guys think about that. What are you really getting for $154? So I'm not exactly sure if the price on this is fair. Of course, this is USA, made in Golden, Colorado. Um, Let's go ahead and bring out some other knives. Rusty thinks you might be happy with. And wipe this one off. I got a Kubi 901. Flat. We'll take a peek here. Yeah, it's always kind of hard to do. Maybe I'll put the spider co in front. Yeah. So spider co has a little bit thicker blade stock, but definitely has a taller blade, which gives you a nicer flat grind because it's more gradual coming down here. And it's going to stay thinner. Uh, than this but this one is a sharp knife forty dollars take a look for that one if you guys want something in the thirty dollar range i can recommend this citizen st 124 excuse me 128 uh, we'll take a look and that's a big knife try to put them uh but that's got a full flat grind as well and that will give you little bit more of a sharpening choil 
ergos on this it's contoured and it's comfortable i do feel the pocket clip a little bit but this one very good action on that so let's see about this spider co yeah i don't even really notice that wire clip uh pocket clip let's try it in the uh Yeah, right where, I mean, if your fingers come on top, that's not bad at all. So, uh, Spyderco also, you can, uh, what can you do? Uh, you can modify these a lot, except these screws are not removable. There's no screw heads on them. You can adjust your pivot got a free spinning pivot and you can take out your pocket clip other than that you know you can't take this knife apart and by the way I don't know what I have on here can't imagine anything that I got on there that looks like that almost like a permanent marker so there we go that's the spider co manix 2 in Spy 27.